The fully developed female sexual cell is known as the egg. The eggs of different animals vary widely in size, in arrangement of yolk and in their covering. Compared to sperms, eggs are larger in size. Starting with various types of animal eggs. The animal eggs are classified according to four criteria. Criteria number one, amount of the yolk. Number two, the distribution of yolk. Number three, the presence and absence of cells. And number four, the type of development. We will study all these criteria in depth. Number one, according to the amount of yolk, there are three types of eggs. Microlacethal eggs. The eggs containing small amount of yolk are known as microlacethal eggs or alacetal eggs or oligolacetal eggs. Example is that of amphioxus, tunicates and eutherian mammals. Mesolacetal eggs. The eggs that acquire moderate amount of yolk are known as mesolacetal eggs. Example, Petromyzontia, Dipnoi and Amphibia. Megalacetal eggs or Macrolacetal or Polylacetal eggs. The eggs which contains huge amount of yolk that is food reserves are known as polylacetal eggs. Example is provided by eggs of reptiles, birds and prototherian mammals. Second criteria, according to the distribution of yolk, there are four types of eggs. Isolacetal or homolacetal eggs. In isolacetal egg, the quantity of yolk is small and it is spread evenly throughout the cytoplasm. Example, sponges, amphioxus, tunicates and eutherian mammals. Telolacetal eggs. The distribution of yolk is unequal. It is eccentrically together in the vegetal pole of the lower part of the egg. Example, annelids, mollusks and many amphibians are the examples of such type of eggs. Centrolacetal eggs. The quantity of yolk is huge and concentrated in the center of the egg. Cytoplasm is spread as a clear layer around the periphery of the yolk and it contains the egg nucleus in the center of the egg. Example is provided by the egg of most of the arthropods. Discoidal eggs. This type of egg contains large amount of the yolk. Yolk occupies the largest position of the egg except a small disc shaped area of the cytoplasm known as blastodisc. The blastodisc is found at the top of the yolk mass. Example, reptiles, birds and prototherian mammals. Criteria number three, according to the presence and absence of the cells, there are two types of eggs. Cladoic eggs. Cladoic means container like. The eggs of reptiles and birds become self-contained and fully loaded with yolk. The cladoic eggs are surrounded by albumin and waterproof shell. Non-cladoic eggs. This type of eggs are not protected by the shell. Such eggs are found in animals where internal development takes place. Fourth criteria. According to the type of development, there are two types of eggs determinate or mosaic eggs. In the development of the certain animals, the fat of every part of the egg is fixed without any changes. Before or at the time of fertilization, the head, tail, right, left and dorsal ventral axis of the future embryo are predetermined in the zygote. If certain portion of the egg is removed experimentally, the developing embryo will not develop that particular organ. This type of egg is therefore termed as 
a determinate or mosaic egg because the fat of the egg area cannot be changed after fertilization. Example is provided by polyclads, nematians, acidian, annelids and mollusks. Indeterminate or regulative eggs. In this type of egg, there is no predetermination and the fat of various area of egg is not usually fixed until first three cleavages have started. If the blastomeres are separated from the eggs before first three cleavage, then each blastomere develops as a whole embryo. Example is that of echinoderms and deuterostomes. Moving ahead, now we will be looking patterns of cleavages. The series of segmentation of zygote into smaller cellular units known as blastomeres result in the formation of multicellular embryonic stage known as blastula. During cleavage, the cleavage furrows are not formed at random but are oriented in a particular manner with reference to main axis of the egg. The orientation of succeeding cleavage furrow with respect to each other and to the main axis of the cleavage is however dissimilar. The four different patterns of cleavage based upon symmetry have been recognized. Number 1 radial cleavage. In this cleavage pattern division takes place in such a way that all the blastomeres are placed in a radially symmetrical manner around the main axis. When such egg is observed from the poles, the blastomere seems to be arranged in a radially symmetrical appearance. Example is that of amphioxus, sponges and sea urchin. Number 2 Biradial cleavage. This pattern of cleavage is found in barrow like animals that is tenophores. Four blastomeres occur by the usual to meridional cleavages. The third cleavage plane is vertical resulting in the formation of curved plate of eight cells arranged in two rows of four numerical cells. In these rows central cells are larger than the end cells. Number 3 spiral cleavage. The spiral cleavage is diagonal to the polar axis. In spiral cleavage, the spindles for the third cleavage are oriented diagonally so that the outcome of upper tire of cells is shifted sideways. The upper four cells are put over the junction between the four lower cells. The upper smaller cells are known as micromeres and the lower bigger cells are called as macromeres. This type of cleavage is known as spiral type because the four spindles during the third cleavage are arranged in spiral shape. Example is provided by eggs of annelids, nematians, mollusks and planarians. Fourth type of cleavage is bilateral cleavage. In bilateral cleavage, the blastomeres are so arranged that right and left side become different. This cleavage pattern is reliant upon the different size of the blastomeres. In this case, two of the first four blastomeres may be larger than the other two, two thus setting up a plane of bilateral symmetry in the developing embryo. Example, nematodes, cephalopods, echinoderms and tunicates. Determinate and indeterminate cleavage. Determinate cleavage. Eggs of annelids, flatworms, nematodes undergoes determinate cleavage in which specific blastomere gives rise to definite part of the embryo. Ascaris is an example of determinate cleavage. The first cleavage division creates two unequal cells. XY is slightly larger cell and a smaller cell Z1. In the second cleavage division, 
two unequal cells divide in perpendicular plane with the outcome that the blastomeres in the four cell stage are arranged in the form of letter T. The slanting shaft of T is made up of blastomeres X and Y which are offsprings of the cell X and Y. The perpendicular shaft is made up of the derivatives of blastomere Z1. These cells are nominated as capital EMST and Z2. EMST is a short form for endoderm, mesoderm and stomodium. The Z2 cell soon move towards the Y cell and the blastomeres are arranged in a rhomboid figure. Indeterminate or regulative cleavage. It occurs in the eggs of amphibians, echinoderms and balanoglossids. This indeterminate type of cleavage pattern bears no exact relation to the embryo. If blastomeres of embryo is isolated from the first cleavage, it could develop into perfect embryo though small in size. Types of cleavages Two main types of cleavages have been illustrated on the basis of the quantity of the distribution of yolk in the egg. They are holoblastic cleavage and meroblastic cleavage. Holoblastic or total cleavage. In total cleavage, the whole egg divides by each cleavage furrow and is of two types. Number one, equal holoblastic cleavage. When the daughter blastomeres are roughly of the same size, the total cleavage is known as equal holoblastic cleavage. Example, amphioxus tunicates and echinoderms. Number two, unequal holoblastic cleavage. If the daughter blastomeres are unequal in size, the egg is completely divided and is known as unequal holoblastic cleavage. It occurs in mesolecithal and telolecithal eggs of cyclostomes, fishes and amphibians. Meroblastic or partial cleavage. In meroblastic or partial cleavage, the division furrow divides only the small amount of cytoplasm on the margin or at the animal pole of egg. The most of the yolk of the egg remains undivided. This type of cleavage is the case with the macrolecithal or polylecithal eggs. It is of two types. Number one superficial cleavage. Example, in many arthropods, in the beginning of the cleavage, the nuclei found in the center of the yolk divides frequently than the daughter nuclei. The daughter nuclei starts moving away from the center of the egg and is surrounded by cytoplasm. When the nuclei reach the surface of the egg, the cytoplasm surrounding them fuses superficially. Later, the cytoplasm is subdivided by furrows. Number 2. Discoidal cleavage. In eggs of birds, reptiles and egg-laying mammals, the cleavage remains limited to disc-shaped area of cytoplasm, the blastodisc. The animal pole yolk is not divided. Such incomplete cleavage is known as discoidal cleavage. Blastula. In majority of animals, as cleavage continues, a cavity develops among the blastomeres. This cavity is known as blastocele. The blastocele is filled with a fluid known as blastocele jelly. The blastomeres are arranged in one or more layer around the cavity. These layers are known as blastoderm. This stage of embryo is known as blastula. The development of blastula is known as blastulation. At the end, we would conclude the entire session 
that we have talked so far. The eggs are classified depending upon the amount of yolk, its distribution, presence and absence of cells and development. After fertilization, the zygote undergoes cleavage depending upon yolky material to give rise to blastula stage containing blastocele. 